It's the second day of jury selection in the historic criminal hush money trial of Donald Trump. The former president is back in court today after dozens of would-be jurors were, dis were dismissed yesterday. ABC's Rena Roy has more on what's happening inside the courtroom in Manhattan. Donald Trump back in court today as lawyers try to find impartial jurors in his historic hush money trial. Trump facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records related to a hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels to keep their alleged affair secret from voters before the 2016 election. I was paying a lawyer and marked it down as a legal expense, some accountant. I didn't know. I'm really interested to see, one, whether the prosecution tries to use what he just said there against him as some form of admission of guilt, and two, how the defense is going to try to say, no, it, it is a legal expense, and this is why. He's pleaded not guilty and has said prosecutors are politically motivated. He also denies the affair with Daniels. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states, North Carolina, Georgia, Campaigning. Attorneys questioning a pool of New Yorkers to find 12 jurors and six alternates. On Monday, the judge saying, raise your hand if you believe you cannot be fair and impartial. More than half of the first batch of 96 potential jurors raised their hand and were immediately dismissed. In the hallway, one potential juror heard saying, I just couldn't do it. Trump himself seated at the defense table, eyeing prospective jurors. The pool, including New Yorkers from all walks of life, like a city employee, a bookseller, and an oncology nurse. Prosecutors have asked the court to fine Trump $3,000 over recent social media posts they say violated the judge's limited gag order. His attorney saying Trump was only responding to repeated attacks by the witnesses. The judge set aside nearly two weeks for jury selection, and once the jury is seated, the trial could take more than six weeks. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.